Rebecca. Hello and welcome to the very first episode of How I Spent the Apocalypse. My name's Selena Rosen. I am a doctor of making do. Um, some of you, not very many of you, might know me because I am a science fiction writer. If all of you knew me, I would not be a master of making do. I have failed more times at life and in business than I care to recollect, although if this works, you'll probably get to hear about all of those little many, many disasters. As most of you know, right now we're in the middle of a major pandemic. And while everybody else is losing their little minds, I kind of want to run back and forth in my yard on my farm and yell at the top of my lungs, who's crazy now, motherfuckers? <laughs> However, my sister said that my neighbors would say, it's you cause you're running back and forth in your yard screaming. I have a farm. It's a very small farm. But here we have always raised between 50 and 75% of our own food and could easily raise it all. We currently have chickens and goats and stuff and you will get to if we keep doing this, if it doesn't turn into be out to be a giant pain in the ass without any reward at all and we continue to do this, then eventually you will meet all of our farm animals and everything we're doing. But today I'm gonna to focus on something that I specifically did since the beginning of what I like to call the apocalypse. This is one of our many chicken yards. Actually, you only have two. But this chicken yard is the, just in case the shit hits the fan and our other chickens die chicken yard. Not that I'm ready for everything or anything like that. So this is our smaller herd of chickens. They lay a few eggs. They're mostly here, like I said, in case of. This goes up. This is all, by the way, if you see it, unless I specifically said this is new shit, it's all made out of crap and garbage. That's right, that's who I am. I told you I'm a master of the make-do. I'm the ninja of make-do. <laughs> Look here, come over here and look real quick. See this feeder? It's made out of an old paint can that I cut off and a piece of pipe, okay, that somebody threw away. I'm gonna pour the feed in there and then it automatically comes out the bottom. See here? Over here you can see these nest boxes, also made out of crap. And here is one egg already today. So there you go. But the thing that I built for the apocalypse, since the apocalypse, is an aquaculture tank. Now, you don't know what aquaculture is. You basically use plants to filter the water for your fish, and the fish shit feeds your plants, and they recirculate, and you can raise fish. Now, most people put tilapia in their tanks. I don't have any freaking tilapia, and I don't have the money to buy tilapia, but my son has, my son the genius, who I'm sure you'll hear about a lot. My son the genius, he has a farm up in the mountains, and he has a one acre pond. So he caught these perch out of his pond and gave them to me for my tank. Now the tank, now if you went to buy one of these tanks, you can usually find one, they're old food <laughs> containers. You can usually find one for between $35 and $40. However, all of the tanks that I will show you during this, somebody threw away. That's right, they used them to haul water, then they didn't need to haul water anymore, and they got rid of them. So, this is the tank, and this is the system. If you can see this, I built this guttering out of the top of a above ground pool that somebody threw away by turning it upside down and siliconing the shit out of it. And then I just added this pipe and that I had laying around from some project I didn't do. I put this pipe on here. Every time it rains, 
The water runs in here. It goes into this screened thing to keep the debris from going into the water. And then it runs into the tank and it recirculates the tank every time it rains. Now, if you'll notice, let me hold this up. You can see the water is pouring through this filtration, which is mint plants and lava rock. And it, it goes through that. Okay, now if Lynn can get a picture of the uh, solar panel on the roof, you'll see that it's over here, honey. On my way. Damn it, Lynn! <laughs> it's, it's over here. Okay, see? I'll There's see. the solar panel. This is a $70 filtration pump and solar panel. It runs the whole show. So what do I have in all of this? Every bit of this is crap except the $70 I paid for the filtration Which we pump. ordered online. Now, and again, I did not buy the fish. I have 10 fish in here. Watch this shit. Now watch, they won't do it, because that's what, oh, there they go. Now I'm feeding them fish food, but before I had fish food, I fed them cat food and they liked it just fine. But you can see they hit the surface pretty hard. They have literally doubled in size. I've had them in here about, what, about a month and a half? Mm -hmm. And they've already doubled in size. When they get as big as they're gonna get, I will eat them and replace them with new fish. So there you go. So, why am I doing this? I'm doing this because this is a time when many people are in complete despair. How are we gonna survive the economic crisis? How are we gonna survive the pandemic? How are we gonna do any of this? I'm gonna tell you by making do. That's how. You know what the corporations, you know why they want us to jump in and dangerously put ourselves in harm's way to get the economy going back? Because they don't want us to find out that our entire economy is fake. It's built on disposable diapers and pizza pockets and people eating out all the time. All stuff we don't have to do. All we have to do is make everything we have last a little bit longer. Look at the crap that we're throwing away and saying, okay, is it time to throw that away? Am I just being a hoarder? Or can I use that for X, Y, and Z? Everything I have that we have, we have not because I've ever made good money. I've never made good money. What I've done is pick shit with the chickens. You can too. We can take our country back. We can take our lives back not by protesting, not by picketing, but we can do it by stretching our money. We can do it by spending less and doing more. People go to the gym and work out and then pay someone to mow their lawn. And you might say, well, that's our economy. What about the lawn guy? Well, the lawn guy's still gonna work. There's still gonna always be people that have so much money but they can't, that they can afford to have their lawn mowed. But what we need to do is quit pretending that we're those people. We're not those people. <laughs> we don't have shit. We don't need to eat out. We don't need all this crap. They keep telling us we do because that's how the rich are getting richer. In this time, everything needs to have more than one purpose. We don't need to put out a whole lot of risk for very little reward. We need to make everything we do count. So this is our first installment. I hope you take something away and I hope you tune in next time because otherwise this is just one more thing I'm doing that's not gonna do any good. <laughs>